Tammy White, the second heroine from the Street Fighter series, female counterpart of Chun-Li, and special force operative member of the Delta Red. She has risen from her dark, mysterious past to become one of the legends inside the Street Fighter universe. Tammy is always on call and ready to defend the world from the tyranny of M. Bison and the Shadow Lu organization. In today's episode, insights about her concept, designed from her creators at Capcom, and some revealing facts you might not know about Kami herself. The origins of Kami White. Welcome to the Street Fighter Press. Kami White, second female character from the Street Fighter series. Her first appearance being in Super Street Fighter 2, The New Challengers. Codename Killer B. The initial concept of Kami was to create a contrast of her other female counterpart, Chun Li. The creator of Kami, Akira Akiman Yasuda, modeled her design on the assassin Misty, who appears in Wounded Man, a Japanese manga from the 1980s. The design of Kami's arm protectors are based on the displays on the Masamune Shiro's Apple Seed. Apple Seed is an anime series that merges elements of the cyberpunk and mecha genres with politics, philosophy, and sociology. The series spans four volumes, released between 1985 and 1989. Kami is a strong, forceful, and determined young woman with a firm sense of justice, who is extremely polite, friendly, respectful, and enthusiastic towards those whom she knows and cares about. However, she can be very brutal and sometimes condescending to those whom she dislikes, such as M. Bison or Vega. Kami also has a strong sense of military discipline and stern honor. Kami has light blue eyes and long blonde hair that she styles into two braided pigtails, a large forelock and a scar on her left cheek. She has a muscular body with a very fit physique and is of slightly below average height. Kami's trace of attire is a leotard as it gives her high speed, mobility, and flexibility. Kami's extensive training and abilities allow her to perform incredible athletic maneuvers and feasts such as flips, as well as special attacks like spiral arrow, cannon spike, or hooligan combination. Note that the spiral arrow is also called the cannon drill, in which the character Kami White lunges forward during this technique, spinning in a corkscrew manner with her feet leading towards her opponent performing a short sliding kick along the ground as she lands. This is apparent in her fighting style. Kami holds pride in her speed and fighting abilities, as noted in her dialogue with some of the other characters. In Super Street Fighter 2 and Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Kami wears her signature outfit, a turtleneck sleeveless green thong leotard that consists of a delta red triangle insignia on her chest. The delta red triangle insignia is the badge of Kami's special force unit in which she is part of, with headquarters set in the United Kingdom. The group is active in a wide range of fields, including searching criminals on a global scale, protecting important people, maintaining security, and reconnaissance. Only the most elite soldiers are selected to join Delta Red, and each team is made up of four to five members. The members of her group are Keith Wolfman, the team leader, Lita Luanda, bladed weapons expert, Matthew McCoy, Heavy Weapons Specialist, George Jinsu, Computer Expert and Hacker, Hannah Ackerson, Team Lieutenant and Strategist, Shiba Shintaro, Collaborator, Simone Mercenary. She also wears a red barrette, red socks, black calf high combat boots, and red gauntlets. Her legs were decorated with marks of green camouflage paint. This classic incarnation is known as Delta Red Kami. One of the earlier drafts of Kami's character design was her wearing a harness and a gun holster, details in which were eventually incorporated into her Street Fighter V default design. She was, at one time, a deadly clone assassin that was working for Shadowloo before breaking free and becoming an M16 operative for the British government. In her early story, starting from the Street Fighter Alpha series, her birthplace and history were unknown. She was a soulless person who seemingly broke free of her brainwashing and traveled the world to find out the truth. Eventually she faced M. Bison and she asked him what her purpose was in life. 
He told Kami that she was to serve him, although he realized that Kami became much stronger during her journey. Kami wins her battle against M. Bison, but is hit by a bolt of electric current and knocked down. Once again, she is brainwashed to erase her memories of whatever discovery she made during her journey. Later in the Street Fighter series, Kami was sent to assassinate Dalzim. Dalzim used his spiritual powers to make herself aware, and she realized that Shadowloo was controlling her. Kami confronted Bison. He told her that she was meant to become his next body, after his current physical manifestation was destroyed by his own psycho power. M. Bison explained to Kami that she was a clone of himself, who possessed a small portion of his psycho power, and that if he were to die, she would die as well. In the Super Street Fighter 2 series, Kami awoke with amnesia, and Delta Red took her in. While she could not remember her past, she retained nearly all the fighting capabilities that were implanted in her during her tenure with the Shadow Lu. This made her a very valuable asset to the team. The second World Warrior Tournament was announced and, discovering that M. Bison was part of it, Kami felt a strange connection to him and entered the tournament. She confronted Bison, who told her that she is a copy of him, that he planted her in Delta Red, but didn't count on her losing her memories, and that he had no further use of her. She later joined the battle against Bison, along with her allies when the tournament ended. After Bison was defeated, her Delta Red teammates told her that she didn't need to live in the past. In this part of the video, we would like to recall some facts about Kami that you might find interesting. Kami's alternate horror costume, a nod to her codename Killer Bee in Ultra Street Fighter 4, has a strong resemblance to QB from the Darkstalkers game, also made by Capcom. Another random fact is that Kami is among the two characters in the Super Street Fighter 4 who have been given a counter ultra, the QCQ, Kami's quick combination, with other characters being Fei Long, whose counter ultra is the Geikiringin. Kami is the second playable female character in the Street Fighter series, and currently the only one to represent the United Kingdom. Kami White is indeed one Street Fighter character who, after all of her adversity, still has the courage to fight for freedom and justice. In review, we talked about Kami's origins, the designer initial concept and design, and we resumed awesome facts about Kami herself. What do you like about Kami? Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with our new theories and info. Thank you for watching. This was your Street Fighter host. Welcome to the center stage.